I have explained a few methods for finding solution of partial differential equation in my previous videos. You might have understood that the method of solving a PDE is not unique. It varies depending on the nature of the PDE. Now we move into the applications of partial differential equations. There are many physical problems which can be modeled by partial differential equations. Transverse vibrations of a stress string such as the string of a musical instrument will give rise to a partial differential equation which is known as one dimensional wave equation. I will derive this wave equation in this video. Assume that a string of length L is stretched and then fixed at two endpoints A and B as shown in the first figure. It is then deflected and at some instant released and allowed to vibrate. Our aim is to find the displacement y of xt at any time t greater than 0 at any point x lies between 0 and L. We derive this wave equation under certain assumptions. The assumptions are the string is perfectly flexible, the tension t is very large as compared to the weight of the string so that we can neglect effects of gravity and air friction. The tension is tangential to the string at any point. The string is uniform and the vibrations of the string are transverse. So now when the string is released from wrist and allowed to vibrate, you consider the motion of an element PQ of length delta x. It is depicted in the second figure by taking A as the origin and the line of equilibrium as the x axis. So here we consider P as a point which is at distance x from the point A and let Q be at a distance x plus delta x from A. And now we draw tangents at P and Q. Let the tangent at P make the angle theta 1 with x axis and let the tangent at Q make the angle theta 2 with x axis. Now then in this case the vertical component of the force acting on the element PQ is T sin theta 2 minus T sin theta 1. So we can write it as T multiplied by sin theta 2 minus sin theta 1. Now assume that this theta 1 is very small. In that case sin theta 1 is approximately equal to tan theta 1. And we know that the tan theta 1 is the slope of the tangent at P. So we can write it as dou y by dou x. Therefore, sin theta 1 is approximately equal to dou y by dou x at the point P. Similarly, sin theta 2 is approximately equal to dou y by dou x at the point x plus delta x. Now we can write the vertical component of force acting on the element PQ in the form T multiplied by dou y by dou x at x plus delta x minus dou y by dou x at x. Now we will compute this force by using Newton's law of motion and we know that force is equal to mass into acceleration and here mass of the element PQ is 
m into delta x. Here delta x is the length of the element pq. So then acceleration is dou square y by dou t square. Now here equation 1 and 2 represents the force. So we can equate the right hand side of these two equations so that we can write it as em multiplied by delta x dou square y by dou t square is equal to t multiplied by dou y by dou x at the point x plus delta x minus dou y by dou x at the point x. Now here in this case we can take delta x to the right hand side. So we can divide by delta x so that the equation becomes m dou square y by dou t square is equal to t into dou y by dou x at the point x plus delta x minus dou y by dou x at the point x. So now we allow q to approach the point p or delta x tends to 0. So in this case we can write it as m into dou square y by dou t square is equal to t into dou square y by dou x square because when limit delta x tends to 0 this term becomes dou square y by dou x square. So then we have a, a substituted here. So now actually this is the wave equation. So this is the equation that represents the displacement of the transverse vibrations. So now we can simplify and we can write it in the standard form for that. We can take this uh, t to the left hand side and uh, we will represent it in the form dou square y by dou x square is equal to 1 by c square multiplied by dou square y by dou t square where c square is t by m or we can write this equation in this form also that is dou square y by dou t square is equal to c square multiplied by dou square y by dou s square. This is the partial differential equation governing the transverse vibrations of a stress string.